about it? Uh, it certainly is. So I, I mean, I've been a uh, I've been a space and uh, an aviation enthusiast since as long as I can remember. When I was in kindergarten, I remember looking at picture books of uh, the space shuttle. I told my kindergarten teacher that someday I'm going to go to space. She told me she'd be watching in her in her rocking chair at some point. So um, I've made uh, aviation aerospace a big part of my life. I'm 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 not a uh, I'm not a, uh, a, a you know a thrill seeker or looking to take unnecessary risks. I, I do seek out what I think are, are you know some of life's greatest challenges. You know whether that's like starting a business when I was 16 years old in my parents' basement, which I've been fortunate you know has has developed into a great company. You know going on mountain climbs, flying in air shows. I think those are all you know great challenges, but. I think you got to make them bigger than what they are in itself. You got to you got to make it about a bigger cause. That if you can handle a really really tough roller coaster, you should be able to handle riding on dragon. Um, but that's the right kind of attitude, right? We want to make space accessible to everyone. Um, you know, the NASA selection process. Um, you know, you have a better chance of getting hit by lightning. Uh, so, and and that's because you have a, like a millions of really interested people who want to go to space, and therefore you have to be hyper selective in every single category just to narrow the list, right? But this is different. This is about making it available to everybody. So, so that that's probably the most exciting part of this mission is that we are opening up uh, this crew selection process to everyday people. Um, you have uh, folks walking around today that that don't realize in 30 days from now they're going to get fitted for a spacesuit. No, no, I'm not uh, not scared at all. First, um, you know, I, I do think being the, the commander of this mission is an immense responsibility because if we are going to make space accessible to, to everyday people, we got to get the first mission right. Um, if, if, if we don't uh, execute incredibly well up there, that's going to slip the timeline to the right for everybody else who comes to follow. But I'm like incredibly confident in the technology that they've pioneered at, at SpaceX. How could you not be? They land rockets on ships in the middle of the ocean. That's pretty cool.